Okay, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can submit your app to ABM or Apple Business Manager. Um, before you watch this video, make sure that you watch the previous video in this series that shows you how to actually make the submission in the Flippy Studio. In this video, we're right now in our App Store Connect account, uh, where we're gonna go in and mark our app to be available for Apple, Apple Business Manager. This is the URL that you need to go to and you need to click into your apps section. Then what you want to do is find the app that you want to uh, make available on Apple Business Manager. I'm just gonna select this one to show you. The way it works is once you've entered into your App Store listing, you want to click on this button here called Pricing and Availability. It's important that you do this step as soon as the app has been uploaded from the Flippy Studio into App Store Connect before Apple has reviewed it. Once Apple has reviewed the app, it's too late to tell them that it's gonna go live through the Apple Business Manager and your app might actually go live on the public app store. Now, once we're in pricing and availability, we're gonna scroll down. And here it says distribution for business and education. So what you want to do is select this last option, which says available for private distribution to a specific organization on Apple Business Manager. Once I click this option, I have a couple of uh, fields available here, which I need to fill in. Um, below the type, you can click on this and you can see you can either choose organization ID or Apple ID. You want to select organization ID and then you want to put your ID in here. This is the ID of your Apple Business Manager account and you will find this within Apple Business Manager. Now I am already logged in in a separate tab, so I'm just going to switch tabs. You can see the URL that you need to go to here. And then to find the correct information, you need to click on settings and you need to click on enrollment information. Then what you need to do is you need to uh, copy the organization ID. So I'm just gonna copy this, go back into my App Store Connect tab and paste the ID. And then I'm gonna take the organization name. So I'm just gonna head back into here and just select this, copy and paste. Now that I'm done, I can click save. Then when Apple reviews the app, they will know that it's going to go live through the Apple Business Manager and it won't go live on the public app store.